Welcome to another edition of the Union Football Coaches Show. Kevin Ward along with the coach Kirk Frederick and another big win for the Redskins, 49-21 on the road at Booker T. Washington last Friday. Coach, it was probably the coldest night of the year so far. Yeah. You guys were red hot, though, in that first quarter especially. Well, first quarter was real exciting. Got the special teams going and had a, a great performance uh, by our punt block team, our punt return team, uh, Really had a block punt, had one return for a touchdown early on, and and uh, felt like our guys came out ready to play. It was a little bit cool. It uh, the temperature change last week, I think, caught everyone off guard. And and you got a lot of players in again uh, on the road this time. Now I got to ask you, because Owasso was was way in front of Sand Springs uh, in during your game because your game went really long, thirty incomplete passes in that game on Friday. Uh, were you aware of that? that you know you knew pretty much that there was no chance to win the district and so you maybe played some of the twos and threes uh, earlier than you would have otherwise we we wanted to play uh, earlier we wanted to get guys out as quick as we could uh, we wanted to get in a situation where maybe some guys could get some rest and and uh, uh, so going into the game we felt like we might take them out a little bit earlier than than uh, what we anticipated but uh, we still want to get our district points. We still want to, you know, make sure that we got all 15 points. Uh, when Booker T in the second half cut it to 21, um, that's when we started checking the score uh, because, you know, one more touchdown would have made it 14 points. You wouldn't have got your district uh, advantage there. But uh, uh, when we understood that Owasso was taking care of business, uh, uh, then it really – all you need to do is make, make sure you had the win. And, uh, we were glad to make sure, you know, we got a lot of guys in, got a lot of quality time, and mm -hmm. really got some two, some some time. That way, if they're in there in the playoffs and they've got a little bit of the game time experience and, and uh, they'll be prepared. I thought it was interesting when uh, Kaler Pearson ran the punt back for a touchdown. Uh, your coaching booth was right next door to ours, and we could see into it. So I, I stood up purpose to watch Coach Pearson's reaction to his son uh, running that punt back for a touchdown. And when I finally got his attention, he just went. And I thought, wow, now there's a guy that's all business. That's I would have right. gone nuts, you know, with my – but he's had other sons, you know, another son run plenty of touchdowns. So he's, he was kind of used to that. Well, that was a neat deal, and it's a neat deal for father-son. And, and, uh, but obviously, you know, when it's early in the game, the intensity is pretty high. <laughs> You've got to be focused on, on what needs to uh, take place. Well, let's take a look at the stats from the game against Booker T, and you can see another 400-plus uh, yard game for your offense. Offense, I thought, uh, performed pretty well, uh, you know, against a great uh, Booker T defense. There was, uh, there were some times where they gave us some fits up front and uh, real impressed with their defense and athletic ability. and. Um, you know, but uh, offensively, we thought it might be a struggle at times, and it was, but still very proud of the, the big plays we had, and then, of course, the short field that our defense was able to give them uh, a number of times as well. And 115 yards in penalties, uh, I think that's a season high. Not a season high in 11 uh, penalties, but the total was the Well, same. you know, anytime you're up, you know, up higher with your penalties, you're not going to be happy with that. That's one of the things that we talked about as a coaching staff is as that our uh, when our competition continues to rise and get tougher we don't want those penalties to to hurt us and you'd love to have that number flipped a little bit but uh, kids are playing hard and and probably losing a little bit of focus where some of those penalties took place and and also some of those numbers for Booker T inflated a little bit because of their ones going against unions twos and threes all right, let's take a break, come back. We'll get into the first half highlights. Thanks for tuning in. Stay with us here on the Union Football Coaches Show. We like Adam, yes we do. Adam Cash gives you $50 when you open a checking account with our school pride card. Oh, Adam, here's the fine. Adam Cash gives our school $50 when you open an account with our school pride card. Our school gets a TTCU donation when you use our card. So does ours. You swipe and TTCU donate. Our card's the best! TTCU has more than 30 school pride cards for you to choose. It pays your school $50 and you $50 for getting yours. Get the best today. In the blink of an eye, your home and belongings can be severely damaged. If this ever happens to you, call Oklahoma Disaster Restoration. We're your restoration experts. For over 20 years, we've been restoring homes and businesses damaged by disasters. 
Our highly trained technicians work to restore your property and refurbish your belongings in our secure Tulsa based facility. Restoring lives one disaster at a time. Call Oklahoma Disaster Restoration. Welcome back to the Union Football Coaches Show, and we get right into the first half. And Coach, they pulled a Union on you. He won the won the toss and took the ball. Yeah, they did. They came out and wanted to probably try to establish some things. Maybe it had something to do with the wind or, or whatever it might be, but uh, um, that was kind of enjoyable for us to be able to out, go out and get our defense started out early and uh, love the way they play. We had several three and outs in the first half, and you can see right there Cameron Cotton making a nice play. Defensive line, Chance Winslewski does a great job. Of course, JoJo had a great game. I thought that uh, he played very well from his spot. You can see Dalton chasing him down there. Another guy that had a great game was uh, Kai Young. Kai Young had an outstanding football game for us. Come out early punt, three and out, and uh, uh, then you have Jack Allspaugh come in. Sophomore, uh, you can see him coming here on the camera angle. Great job by our camera guys. and. Jack gets the, uh, the big block there and, and uh, gets our offense the ball right around the 15-yard the line to start out. So what a great way to start our game. Come out here with the bootleg, and uh, Ataya hits Chris Hall uh, for a nice game. We block him pretty well up front, and Silman goes in for, for a big score, a uh, big night for Silman as well. Look at, look at uh, our nose guard in there, Chance Winslewski. Probably the only guy that I've ever seen gain weight during a football season. Uh, Chance is actually, I think, hitting a growth spurt during the season, uh, playing very well and getting bigger and uh, really proud of the way that he's playing. David Todd comes in uh, with a nice play there as well as Dalton Rodriguez. What a great throw and catch there to Khalil Barnett. Breaks a tackle, get down the sideline. Proud of the way that Khalil's been, uh, been playing lately. Nice block on the outside there by Chris Hall. And uh, you know, those guys got in that press man coverage and, and uh, we're gonna upset some of the receiver routes and things. And I just thought the focus of our kids uh, early on was, was uh, very good. Come back here on a nice uh, sprint out there and great play call and, and there's Khalil all by himself in the back of the end zone. Hunter Ty puts the ball on him. It was a, a really a, a nice executed offensive drive. Come back defensively, guys playing tough inside. You can see Cameron fits it well in there. Again, Chance has a good one. JoJo's coming off hard, playing well. Missed a, a coverage assignment there uh, on a defensive call, coach's fault there, and, and gave up a, a backside gap, and they exploited it uh, on a good play by Booker T. You can see Chris Hurd, defensive lineman, senior in there, making a nice play, uh, creating some pressure, and uh, the ball goes back to our offense. Real impressed with the defensive front from Booker T. You'll see some, some plays where they've created some negative plays for us just simply because of their talent level. Look at the pressure that comes in and uh, just kind of puts everything off when we're trying to run a screen or whatever it might be, forces to, uh, to punt early. Hunter Ty gets off a great punt. What a great camera angle there. Outstanding punt, which puts them deep in the end zone. There's Chris Hurd. Nose guard coming in, makes a great play, gets off the center, makes a big, big play uh, on their running back. Sam Blankenship chasing there and uh, spills it out there to uh, Chase Dahlquist. Chase, uh, good to have him back in the action and, and um, makes a nice play there and then uh, get great uh, coverage downfield. Colby Evans uh, there for the pressure and, and uh, intentional grounding and uh, causes them to have a, uh, a short punt and then Kaylor Pearson, uh, junior wide receiver, punt returner. Really great to see him come in. We haven't had much of a punt return game. Mm -hmm. We get one blocked and of course score early. Uh, a lot of fun uh, for Kaylor. Look at the pursuit inside out. Great job for our guys. Just not much of a cutback in there at all. Come out here on the sprint out. They brought in another quarterback. Got great pressure inside. You can see the pressure coming from David Todd. Comes up, makes a nice play, forces a, a bad throw. Got Terrell Buchanan inside right off the fly sweep, and uh, he's able to, to hit, hit the seam and, and gets vertical real quick. That's one thing about Terrell is when he sees it, he's going to hit it real fast. Good positive yardage, running tough inside. Real proud of that. Carson Meyer, big block there. Parker Anderson uh, as we head into the second quarter. 
Second quarter, we get the, the pull there and we get it logged and he bounces it outside. Again, tough running inside. I thought that this drive right here was, was really good for us to put together several play drive. You see Carson Meyer with a big block there on the edge. And again, I just, I, I thought that Terrell was running the ball very tough. You can see it right there, um, putting his shoulder down and uh, punching it in there at the end. This is a minute into the second quarter, Coach, you're up 28-0. 28-0, it was going pretty fast for us there. They come out and throw a little smoke screen to the outside, and Devin Davis is there for the tackle for a couple of yards. Come back and hit it up underneath, and there's Dalton Rodriguez. He squeezes his guy down and creates a, a, a nice play for us there. Puts him into a long third, third down situation, and Sam Blankenship is there. Uh, to uh, force them to punt again. Khalid Cornegay on the uh, fly sweep, picks up six, seven yards on that, nice play for him. Chris Hall motions inside the, the uh, box there and we're able to hit Silman there on a, on a big play. Uh, I'm not sure how far that one was, but I know that it was a big play and, and unfortunately uh, uh, got us on a holding call and, and had that one called back. I think it was a 69 yard run. Come back with uh, Going to have to pick up a few yards because of that holding call. We get hit uh, Barnett there on the sprint out. Uh, pick up a, a few yards on that. And we're just off there to Jeff Mead and, and uh, forces us to, to turn the ball over on downs. Love seeing Kai Young in there making tackles in open space. That's not anything that's easy to do against great athletes. You can see they mishandle it. And you just give our defense just a second and you're going to have several guys there making them play. Kai Young and Chance and uh, all those guys. I think all three defensive linemen uh, hit the quarterback on that play. Yep. And uh, a lot of fun to see that take place. Good coverage in there. Uh, the official thought it was a little too good coverage there. It picks up a, an automatic first down for him. Covering well on the deep ball down the field. Harper does a nice job with that. Colby spills it there on the, on the run. And uh, lots, of, lots of Redskins around the, around the ball. Look at the coverage down the field. Great coverage down the field. Quarterback doesn't have anywhere to go. Devin Davis is there on the coverage, but several guys covered and uh, just kind of a waste down for him. Love seeing Jeff and the way a lot of people don't understand is how good he is with the ball in his hands. Um, you know, just deceiving with the type of speed that he has. Nice uh, flare pass out there to Silman. Another guy that runs extremely tough. Uh, we're really blessed to have two solid tailbacks that that are you know, on verge of both of them, you know, getting closer and closer to that thousand yard mark. David Todd, great play. Colby Evans coming in. Uh, a lot of fun to see some guys getting healthy there um, with our defense. They get just a little bit of an edge on us. We've got to make sure that, uh, you know, we're intense to the end of the play and uh, they're able to move the ball out to midfield. Quarterback scrambles on us here towards the end of the half and and uh, Dahlquist comes up, makes a nice play. You can see there that uh, just some missed tackles, a little bit of focus. I think things that happened so easily early on uh, created some, uh, maybe it causes us to relax a little bit. But uh, big chance comes in and makes a nice play. Another big pressure inside on the blitz. And uh, quarterback gets hit as he throws. Nice play here out to Jeff Mead. Hunter Ataya continues to throw the ball very well. Another great camera shot there as he sprints out to Jeff and we get out of bounds uh, looking at the two minute situation and uh, just kind of got behind on the downs just a little bit. Uh, time was running out and so we decided to be a little bit safe with it and uh, not try to do anything too drastic and um, see if we had a shot we didn't throw it away and that's how we ended the half. <laughs> there were so many things in this game that mirrored other games, you, uh, a quick, uh, Touchdown, and, and there, if, if they had hung onto the ball, an interception at the end of the half, just trying to make something happen. But uh, comfortable lead 28 to nothing for the Redskins at the half. We'll take a look at the third and fourth quarters. When we come back, stay with us on the Union Football Coaches Show.
Conveniently located near Highway 169 and the BA Expressway, the campus of Tulsa Bone and Joint is home for our multi-specialty group of orthopedic surgeons, sports medicine, and rheumatology specialists. With physicians specializing in all aspects of bone and joint problems, our multidisciplined approach allows us to treat the entire musculoskeletal system. So when joints are swollen and painful, or you are in need of an orthopedic surgeon, remember Tulsa Bone and Joint Associates, your orthopedic, sports medicine, and rheumatology specialists. At Arvest, we know our customers come to us for different reasons. There are some who need banking on their time. For others, it's not when they bank, but where. Then there are those who take their banking wherever they go. From big moves to small favors, we recognize the needs of our customers, and now they've recognized us again. For the third year in a row, Arvest ranked highest in customer satisfaction with retail banking in the Southwest region by J.D. Power & Associates. Switch today and get the customer service you deserve, only from Arvest Bank. Back on the Union Football Coaches Show, Kevin Ward along with the coach, Kirk Frederick. We get set for the third quarter, a little uh, shot. We we're actually north of uh, downtown Tulsa at S.E. We Williams. Yeah, S.E. Williams, what a great uh, stadium. Uh, historic in my coaching career, had some great games there and watched several NFL players before they, they made their way uh, to that level, play high school football there at Booker T. And, we, we said we wanted to get the second half started out right. There's not anything better than that one right there. As you see, Justin Silman uh, take on uh, about a 90-yard uh, uh, run there and love to see this because of the speed that he came out with and closing out a run. And uh, I thought that Justin looked very well, um, especially on that run right there. He was our offensive player of the game, went over 100 yards rushing. Two plays in a row, get great pressure there by Dalton Rodriguez. He forces it back inside. You can see that, the pressure coming off that edge. Quarterback steps up, and uh, JoJo Ogandar, junior defensive lineman, makes an outstanding play. And our defensive player. Of Two in a the row game. there. There you go. <laughs> there again, you see the defensive line creating problems up front, and uh, Cameron Cotton comes in to, uh, to close it off. Give the ball to Jeff here. You can see, again, pretty uh, – doesn't look like it's a lot of quick movement there, but he's chewing up some yards. Uh, with his speed at just such a long stride, you mm -hmm. just don't notice it. Hunter Attire comes in and uh, runs a sprint out, looks at all his receivers, and of course, Carson Myers taught, hey, if it, you know, to sit down in a hole, and Carson does that, and uh, we get that uh, big play for a first down, and then we come right back and hit Carson on a vertical shot, and uh, Carson Meyer Jr. tied in, going to be a heck of a player for us. Offensively, uh, come out and get a couple of quick scores. We get a big lead on them. And uh, so we start to make lots of substitutions. And unfortunately, they execute a really nice, a little fake screen there and get a guy vertical and had a, had a, a defensive back fall down on the play. And, uh, but they make a nice throw and catch for a touchdown. Get the ball outside here. You're seeing a lot of guys come in. See Peter Udomo out there with a great block there for Cornegay on the little bubble play. Nice job there again for uh, uh, Khalid. And love to see the ball that's thrown right there for mm -hmm. Mason Farquhar. Uh, backup quarterback, sophomore quarterback in. Uh, lots of reserves in or, uh, in, the, in the game and, and getting lots of good playing time there. Another nice throw from Mason out there to LT. There's Finch. Most of the people are pretty used to seeing Finch come in there and, and uh, run the football. and. Love the way he runs behind his pads. Such great balance, great vision. Uh, feet are always moving, legs are pumping, and um, runs very well inside the, inside the, uh, the, uh, the tackles. One thing you've got to remember is that our, our number two offense right here, we've got several sophomores involved in that. They're going against Booker T's number one defense mm -hmm. that we said was, we felt like was a very stout defense. And, as they started to adjust, they started to move the football on them real proud of the way they played. Dion McKittrick, another junior corner. I thought that he had an outstanding game. Dion's earning more playing time and, and had uh, uh, quite a football game for us with some nice pass breakups and, and so forth. See the defensive line coming in there. Uh, Giddings makes a nice play. There's Dion again coming in. Uh, Sam Blankenship uh, with the uh, big tackle on the outside. You can see right there. Uh, you got Harper coming in, thought that uh, he made a nice play on that, and unfortunately we get a roughing the passer on about a third and 30, uh, which gave them automatic first down, something you don't really like to see. Got Bronson Phillips on, on the pressure from the defensive end spot. 
and uh, just kind of get twisted around there on some coverage there, and, and uh, they hit a nice big play on us. Uh, you got uh, Colby Peters in there from the Mike Backer position, chasing the tailback out. Blankenship with another big hit. There's another uh, uh, play where you got two guys there. We just got to you know, have more game time experience of adjusting to the ball. Love to see the way our special teams executed. They kicked two onside kicks to us, and uh, we recovered both of those. I believe that was uh, Blankenship who uh, recovered that one there uh, and got us uh, uh, make sure we secure the football uh, as they're starting to, to uh, make a comeback here. Nice throw and catch. Love uh, to see the throw and the catch there to Rashad Smith. Uh, senior for us, uh, backs up Chris Hall, makes a nice play for us. Love to see Smitty on the on the play. Starting to see our, our, uh, our guys up front starting to do a pretty good job with it. And the one thing about Mason is he's going to stay in the pocket. And because of the way he stays in the pocket, I thought that Mason, uh, every once in a while, is going to give up a sack. Mm -hmm. He'll wait till that last second uh, to try to get that throw off. Nice coverage down the field um, by Brandon Golfin. Another, you can always tell when, uh, uh, when Sam Blank shifts in the game because there's going to be a big hit that comes in there. So we had Dibbler there on the nice tackle and Sam there just off uh, with the, the speed there. And you got to love uh, the uh, effort here by Dion McKittrick. Fights all the way to save the touchdown. Uh, several missed tackles along the way. Not very impressed with the, the missed tackles, but you got to love a kid who fights all the way down the field to make the play there with Dion. See him come in here, and they we just misfit a couple of the runs, and they execute well, and and uh, they come in and make a nice play. There's a nice uh, uh, recovery there on the onside kick. Will Hamilton makes the nice play there. We've got to get something going offensively because we know we need to close the game out. Uh, we can't continue to just punt and give them an opportunity when they've cut it down to 21 points now. Uh, offensively, we've got to execute. We challenged our guys to come in and try to get some things going. You saw Finch come in with a nice run. Here comes Finch with another one. Great job there with the blocking on the outside. And uh, you can see that uh, we're able to, to pick up some nice run there. Love uh, Big Briggs in there, sophomore offensive lineman. Parker Coons at center uh, with some nice blocks up front. So uh, we've got some guys that are, that are in there that are doing a really nice job. Ben Kramer at offensive tackle. Um, blocking well, and of course Preston Osborne and, and Harker Davis. Uh, love the way that we're throwing the football. We just missed tip there, and, and uh, they're able to, uh, to pick up interception. Big play inside. Not real sure who tipped that ball, but again, that defensive line with a great pressure all game long. We come up here with a nice interception, and uh, Brian Stadler there on the play, and, and Kai Young makes a great interception to pretty much, we felt like, uh, uh, give our offense an opportunity to eat some clock and uh, felt a lot more comfortable about our 21-point lead. Love the run inside. Again, there's Finch finishing the run for us, which gave us, uh, I believe, our last score of the night and gave us a little bit of breathing room as we went into uh, uh, to the end of the game. He might have been the guy that's closed out each of the last three games with a touchdown for you offensively. He's, he's done extremely <laughs> well and uh, works extremely hard and and a pretty talented, continues to play well like that, he'll start to get more and more playing time. Let's come back and uh, wrap up this edition of the Union Football Coaches Show. We'll get up close and personal. Stay with us. They say the hopes of a franchise are heavy. But that there are nothing compared to the hopes of a city. That they say can be impossible to carry. It just weighs too much. They say there's no teller with something that heavy can do. I say there's no teller what life can do. 
Adidas ID Zero Ghosts, only at Dick's Sporting Goods. Back on the Union Football Coaches Show, let's get up close and personal as we do each and every week with some great photos from Vic Kidwell. We're going to start out with the good one here from Vic, and uh, we got Jack Osball coming in on that early pump block. What a great job. He's not leaving his feet, put his hands on the ball. Uh, everything he's coached to do, and of course gets there real quick, and that's some of him. I don't think the coaches got that out of him, but what a great way to, to get a pump block there, and Jack does that. Love seeing kids celebrate. Look at Brandon Berg in there. Excited to see uh, Selman on a big tackle there. We've got a couple of linebackers here, Colby Evans and David Todd, and of course uh, Dalton Rodriguez in there as well. Uh, gang tackling. Got Khalil Barnett, senior wide receiver. Uh, catching the ball there, what an outstanding play uh, that he had there on that touchdown catch. Uh, we've got our PAT team here. You got uh, Big Briggs there protecting for the kicker there, Austin Butler, 100% on his PATs the other night and uh, did a nice job at that. Senior Cameron Cotton and Kai Young there, two defensive starters. Senior week this next week, so it's a lot of fun to talk about our seniors as we close out the regular season. Uh, Carson, or excuse me, not Carson Meyer, but Jeff Mead on another big catch there. You can see how cold the sideline is there. And then uh, I love this, I'll tell you, Andy Irwin pointed out, got, it looks like the kid's got a big coat on or something underneath there as Dalton Rodriguez is, is coming in and, and making a nice tackle there uh, on a Booker T. Hornet. Carson Meyer on a nice catch and uh, crossing the goal line there, securing the ball on a big, uh, big catch there. And then uh, here's the big coat that you can see that he had on underneath there. And, and uh, you got DJ Henderson on a big tackle and Colby Peters, two linebackers that uh, I think are going to be really good football players uh, closing out the pictures there from Vic. Well, and it was really cold last Friday um, uh, in North Tulsa. But this Friday, I think things are going to be different, maybe even a high of 80 degrees on, on senior night. And, and I know it's always a special week this week for you. It and is, the team. it is, you know, closing out the regular season, last home game, most places have a senior night. And, and uh, for us here at Union, it's a senior week and we've got stuff planned. Our, our mama skins and our booster club do a great job of celebrating with our kids and uh, doing different things to make those guys feel special. And we're so thankful for the things they've, they've given to our program, but it's a lot of fun to look back, maybe at some of the youth teams and how many guys have played together and, mm -hmm. and just to see them uh, kind of close out their time here as we get ready for the playoffs. It's a lot of fun, a lot of baby pictures, a lot of good memories, and uh, we look forward to celebrating our seniors this week. Well, it is a uh, 7 o'clock. It's home game. We've been telling you that each and every week when it's a home game. 7 o'clock kickoff, last game of the regular season against Ponca City on Friday night at Union Tunnel Stadium. For the coach, Kirk Frederick, I'm Kevin Ward. Thanks for tuning in to the Union Football Coaches Show. Good night, everyone.